FICO is best known for its FICO score, which helps to make about 10 billion credit decisions every year. Customer Communication Services, also known as CCS, is a division of FICO that helps communicate with customers, alerting people to fraud events on their cards, and we're also involved in early stage collections. Historically, CCS has used a lot of recording talent. These are the voices you hear. We've used people to do that because of the quality of the speech. As you can imagine, that's quite an inflexible environment to be operating in. Our clients want to and need to change the prompts quite often. Amazon Polly is a text-to-speech technology where we provide a textual input to our system and we expect media to be given back to us that is in a human understandable form in whatever language we've chosen. Hi, this is Amazon Polly Text to Speech. What Amazon Polly enables us to do is to work with our clients to find the best and most effective way to communicate with their users. And with our ability to deploy this almost instantly and continuously is what helps us differentiate FICO solutions. From an IT perspective, challenges with the older system, it was uh, that the costing model was, was based on uh, per channel use. It also was time-based. In the new model, we really pay by the drink. We're also able to use the output very much more flexibly. I would estimate that Amazon Polly is probably going to give us at least a 10x improvement in terms of speed to delivery. And in terms of cost, I would say it's possibly under a tenth of what we were spending before. It surprised me how good it is, how good the regional accents are. It surprised me that I am not able to tell the difference between a human person reading text and poly reading text, and I am in the business. Now that FICO is using AWS, we are able to scale our business, we are able to expand our business, we're able to grow into new territories. One of our reasons for choosing Poly was to enable us to globally expand much faster. It means we don't have to go and look for voice talent in the various countries we operate in. We initially started in, in North America and Europe. Uh, we've extended our use of it into Asia Pacific and now we're beginning to roll it into our business in Latin America. And now we're very much moving to the point where we would like to use Poly for 100% of our voice input.